Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services and today I'd like to show you how to save money on um, an interesting piece of equipment in a car that makes car fairly worthless without it. The piece I'm talking is a in-car entertainment system and a key component of it is the DVD player. This DVD player comes out of Honda Odyssey and the model number on it is 3911A-SHJA800. Okay. This particular DVD player comes out of 2006 Honda Odyssey, but it was used, same model was used from 05 to 10. I believe they're interchangeable. So, um, it was working fine, and uh, one day I could not eject the disc. So I was looking and looking and looking and looking, couldn't figure out why I could not eject the disc. The eject button didn't work. Uh, the light said that the disc was in, so this light was on. Um, no response. So I took the uh, DVD out, and what I actually did was uh, I applied some electrical current to this motor. That's It's a slot loader. So if you apply the current in proper form, the disc, disc will eject. So then I was looking a little farther to see why, uh, after, after I uh, ejected the disc, I reassembled the CD player, DVD player, uh, put a new disc in and it worked fine. So I was quite confused as to why did it suddenly forget how to eject the disc. So. I took it apart to do some more hunting down and checking uh, and what I found is very interesting phenomenon. Uh, this car has been on the road for uh, eight years and uh, a lot of shaking and vibration. The area right here, this edge, is very sharp. Okay. This conductor is touching that edge when um, when DVD is inserted. So if you have DVD in your um, uh, DVD player, this whole assembly goes down, which is this right now is upside down, which is in effect goes up. You know, it, it raises, but it doesn't matter which way it goes. What happens is this connector, this um, um, ribbon cable, starts touching this sharp edge right here. Okay, now this sharp edge is going to damage the connector eventually. So what I want to show you is what actually had happened. Hopefully my camera is going to focus. Come on. You can see a little reflection. Let's see if I can do this. Um, it doesn't want to focus, but it should. It has the. Let's see if we force it. There, it's focusing now. You can see the sliver. That's basically contacts have been eaten through by that sharp plastic. So it's basically plastic rubbing on plastic. Um, if your DVD is working and you're handy, take it apart ASAP, put a piece of tape on it, and it will save your DVD. If you're unlucky as I am, you're going to have to either fix this. Uh, there isn't a lot of movement to this part, so if you're good at soldering, you can actually solder the joints. The other way to go is uh, you can actually solder 
uh, small flexible now that's the key you have to use flexible wires flexible wire from the actual terminal on the motor to the terminal on a circuit board get the circuit board here so this is where it gets connected okay so you basically jump from here to here and you're good uh, as I was tracing where these wires go they actually go to this switch this switch is a limit switch tells let's see how did it go? It goes like this it tells the head when it's um, when it's reached the end so what was happening is when uh, the, uh, when I would turn on the car the head would be going crazy back and forth and I saw that because I had taken the DVD apart and I was holding the assembly in my hand and I saw the head was doing jittery thing um, and that's because the limit switch it, it couldn't figure out where is the beginning of the disc or where did it hit the end so there is um, bypass internal bypass electronics knows okay if we are at the end uh, let's just check where the disc begins so after about a um, few seconds maybe 10 seconds of jittering it would actually try and read the disc um, but there is more than one connector that's been cut, cut and I am suspecting that the the big one there is a big connector that's the one that's flaky in operation and that's the one that was causing my um, um, CD or DVD not to eject there is actually another area right here where it started to eat through so in short there are several ways to fix this if you want to fix right away you would basically just jump the connections try to fix it right on there it's not really a permanent fix the permanent fix would be to find a replacement for this part okay somebody out there knows where to get these parts uh, to me this just happened I will do some research and make some phone calls but um, if you look on eBay you will find that people charge two hundred and seventy nine dollars basically this is what they fix they replace this part um, there is another uh, fix that you can do and that is if your DVD suddenly became dead okay it's bad especially if you have a rental seat DVD inside you have to return it and it's stuck inside your car um, I might make a video on how to take this DVD out it's not too difficult but it's more complex than I thought uh, what I'm what I was thinking originally is this is the connector that connects to the motor that drives the ejection assembly and you can just apply um, 10 volts uh, you can just use a battery apply 10 volts and it will eject your D DVD so you could just have this cable hanging out somewhere and that would be the best fix for it and the reason I thought of this fix is I thought well there may be some electronics issue and until I found that there is actually an issue here um, so I'm gonna take those wires off and uh, see what I can do and I'll try to find this part if I do I'll post it in the description where you can get these parts uh, but years ago I had found uh, uh, this this DVD player is made by Panasonic uh, years ago I found that um, there was a issue with a LS 400 10 disc CD changer and in that CD changer there was a wheel um, that would get broken and uh, your CD changer would stop working um, that was work was made by Pioneer and Pioneer was nice enough to cross-reference for me the part and I was able to actually purchase just that wheel it was about five bucks and save yourself a whole ton of money this DVD player is 500 bucks new I believe or 600 bucks new uh, used from a junkyard you're probably gonna get something like this in it um, 
and they want anywhere from a hundred to three hundred bucks for it or you can fix it yourself I know there is a lot of Honda Odysseys out there um, this is your problem most likely thank you hopefully this helps somebody and subscribe thank you